This edit looks like I spent three hours in Photoshop, but it actually took me 90 seconds to do it. And I did it with just one click. So I'm gonna show you how I created that action. So this is the before and the after, and how you can create the action yourself. So if I show you how to create that action, let me first of all delete this group and just come to my action again and just come to this one click retouch and just click it and it's just going to retouch this image for us. So I want you to see how fast this actually is. All right. Now this is automatically going to help us remove the blemishes from our image. It's automatically going to help us smooth our image using dodge and burn. And not just that, it's going to whiten the eyes, help us do our contour dodge and burn. And finally, it's going to add makeup or enhance the makeup on our image. And this is done by 2AI, which is the Reblum Retouch and the Retouch for me. And by the way, I'm not doing anything manually. This is 100% AI and 100% one click. So what's going to take you about three hours to retouch? You can do it in just one click. And the result is amazing, as you can already tell. All right, it has finished loading. So see the before and the after. Imagine just one click. Wow. <laughs> the before and the after. You can see all the texture and the image is looking really, really good. So this is going to take you about three hours or even more if you want to do it manually. All right. So what's inside this group? Let me just turn off everything inside this group so you can see the build up. So we have the heel first. This heel just helps us remove the blemishes. I think look at the blemishes on the image. Let me hide my action. So see the before and the after. That's to remove the blemishes from our image. Now, let's talk about skin smoothing, which is dodge and burn, which is this other layer right here, the dodge and burn layer. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Wow. Now, this other one is the Reblum Retouch. This also helps us remove blemishes and also smooth our skin. All right. Now, let's see the before and after. This is the Reblum one. So I did the Reblum twice. So this is the first one, the before and the after. You can see how good it is. Now, I did another Reblum Retouch again, the before and the after the before and the after looking really 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 good all right now these are contour the jambon see the before and the after wow the before and the after and if it's looking too much you can just come to your opacity and reduce the opacity if you want to do that all right so let's like, see what works for me also take a look at the eyes this next layer is the eyes white so see the before the before and the after the before and the after why this last layer is for the makeup to enhance the makeup so take a look at the makeup the before and the after the before and the after and you can take the opacity to 100 percent if you want the effects to be intense for the makeup so the before and the after but i just prefer to reduce the opacity all right so see our overall before and after the before and the after now, let me show you how you can create this action yourself. All right, so I'm not going to delete this layer and also delete this layer as well. Now, before this action can work for you, you need to have the Reblum Retouch. So this is the Reblum Retouch first. You need to have this Reblum Retouch Photoshop plugin. Also, you need to have the Retouch on me heal, which is to remove blemishes. You need to have the Retouch on me dodge and burn, which is to smooth out the skin. Also, you need to have the Retouch on me eye brilliance, which is to whiten the eyes. Also, you need to have the retouch on me purchase volume, which is to add the contour dodge and burn. And finally, which is to enhance the makeup, you need to have the retouch on me face make right here. So if you have those plugins, you can create this action. And if you don't have them, you can actually create action with any retouch for me plugin you have. It's basically the same way. All right, so let's start. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing on Command J. After that, I'm going to come to my action. If you can find your action right here, come to windows and click on actions right here so your action is going to open up for you now once you open your action the next thing you want to do is to click on this hamburger icon right here once you click on it click on this button mode right here once you click on this button mode i'm first of all going to create a folder so come to your folder and just rename this one i'm going to rename this one ai one click retouch okay and click on okay now after creating that folder I'm going to click on this plus icon to create the action. So the action name, I'm going to rename the action AI one click retouch. Okay. And you can assign any color you want. Let's assign magenta for this and just click on record. Now, once you click on record, 
anything you do right now is going to be saved as an action okay now the first thing i want to do is to remove the blemishes from this image and to do that i'm going to duplicate this layer by pressing on command j or control j after that i'm going to come to my filter come to retouch for me and click on heal right here so it's just going to load and just going to help me remove the blemishes from this image all right it has finished loading if i zoom in you can see the blemishes are no longer on this image see the before and the after wow the before and the after and you can choose to play with the sensitivity on the amount of blemishes you want to remove but i usually leave my on 100 and make sure make mask is selected and click on apply all right so after that i'm just going to rename this group heal now to smooth the skin i'm going to use dodge and burn and to do that i want to create a spam visible layer by pressing on command option shift e or control shift button it e after creating a stamp visible layer i'm going to come to filter again come to retouch on me and click on dodge and burn right here remember everything we are doing is being saved as an action so you can just do it in one click later all right so let's just wait for it to load so you can just smooth out the skin for us using the dodge and burn all right it has finished loading let me just zoom in so you can see so this is the before and the after you can see our before and the after also with the blend right here you can choose the amount of dodge and burn you want on your image if i take it down you can see the amount is less if i take it up it's too much so about 170 works for me 170 always works for me and for the warmth 15 works for me or let me just move it down to seven seven works for me so i'm going to click on soft light layer make sure soft light layer is turned on and just click on apply now you can see the part of the image that is dodge and burn for us so you can see from here what i'm going to do i want to change this blend mode from normal to soft light all right once i change it to soft light i'm just going to rename this layer dodge and burn okay now the next thing i want to do i still want to smooth the skin using the ray blum so to do that i'm going to create another stamp visible layer by pressing on command option shift e or control shift button it e once i do that i'm going to come to my filter come to ray blum and just click on ray blum with touch right here so with the ray blum with touch it's just going to load for us and just going to do micro dodge and for us and also remove the blemishes from our image for us so let's just wait for it to finish loading all right it has finished loading let me just zoom in so you can see the before and the after take a look at the image see the before and the after the before and the after if you feel the dodge and burn is too much we can just take this general down this general control the amount of dodge and burn why if you feel the texture it has removed much texture you can come to the texture and just reduce the amount of texture you want it to remove like that all right so i take 100 100 blocks for me for now and i'm going to click ok so i'm not going to rename this layer ray blum one from here i'm going to do another ray blum just to make it look even more smooth so i'm going to create a stamp symbol layer again by pressing on command option shift e or control shift alternate e then come to filter come to ray blum i click on ray blum with touch again and let's just wait for it to finish loading so you can actually see the effects now as it's loading i want to use the opportunity to say thank you everyone for subscribing and watching my video like the result i'm getting is really really mind blowing it's amazing and i couldn't have done this without you guys and also if you've learned anything from this video so far make sure to like this video and also share this video to someone who you think might be interested in learning from this video as well all right so it's still loading let me just zoom in so you can see the before and the after all right so see the before and the after the before and the after so i think i'm going to take this texture slider down a little bit just to retain some of the textures so the before and the after so i think like this works for me i'm going to click on okay remember we are still recording and everything we've done so far is being recorded as an action now next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to do my contour dodge and burn using the portrait volume now to do that i first of all rename this layer reblum 2 okay and create a stamp visible layer by pressing on command option shift e or control shift button it e again then come to filter come to retouch on me and click on portrait volume right here so let's just wait for it to load all right it has finished loading 60 always works for me if it's on 100 or 200 it's going to be too much as you can see the before and the after so i think 60 is actually a good number for me and also i can reduce the opacity later inside of photoshop if i feel it's too much so also before you do anything make sure soft light layer is selected and hit 
apply. So once you apply it, all you have to do from here is come to your blending mode, change it from normal to soft light. Now once you change to soft light, let's just whiten the eyes. To whiten the eyes, I'm going to create another scan visible layer by pressing or command option shift A or control shift alternate A. Then come to filter again, come to reduce from me. I click on this eye brilliance right here. So once I click on eye brilliance, it's just going to load for us and just whiten the eyes or make the eyes white for us. All right, that's finished loading. Let me just zoom into the eyes so you can see. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, you can play with the blend if you don't want the effect to be too much. If I take it all the way up to 200, you can see it's looking too bright. So I can just play with the blend like so. Also, I can pick the areas out too and just erase it from where I don't want it to affect. Like inside the eyes, I don't want it to affect it. Inside the eyes, I'm just going to erase it from it. Also, this part of the eyes, I'm just going to erase it like that. I don't want it to affect those parts. I just want it to affect only the white parts of the eyes. Okay? So that this works for me. Also, I'll move, I'll remove it from here. I'll remove it from here. So I'm going to click on Make Mask and click on Apply. See the before and the after. The before and the after. So if it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity. Now, finally, let's enhance the makeup. To do that, I'm going to create another stamp visible layer. Before I do that, I'm going to rename this one Contour Dodge and Burn and rename this one Eye White. So I'm going to create a stamp visible layer you already guessed. Command Option Shift E or Control Shift Alternate E. Once you create a stamp visible layer, come to your filter again, come to Retouch for me and just click on this Face Make right here. Once you click on Face Make, it's just going to apply the previous makeup you did. But if you want to change it, if I just turn this makeup off, you can see we don't have any makeup. If I turn makeup on, we have makeup. So you can choose different type of makeup. So let's just, let me just play with the makeup for the eyes so you can see, so you can have an idea of what I'm trying to say. So if I want this makeup, I can use this makeup. If I want this one for the eyes, I can choose this for the eyes. If I want this, I can just play with any makeup. But I think this one actually works for me. The first one I use, this will be touch works for me. Also, you can play with the depth. If you want the intensity to be too much, you can just increase the intensity. If you want to decrease it, you can just decrease it. Well, I think 50 works for me. I'm going to leave it at 50. Also, you can play with the hue if you want to change the color. The same thing for the leaves. If you want to make the leaves, if you want to change the color of the leaves, we can just play with the hue to change the color of the leaves. Also, with the depth, you can play with the depth to increase the opacity or the intensity of the colors right there. We're going to take the depth down a little bit and just play with the colors. So I think like this works for me. The same thing for the blush. If you want to add blush, you can just come to the skin and this sunset glow works. Or you can use this dark desire, whatever works for you. You can play with the depth, like I said earlier, and also play with the color to change the blush. I think this one actually works for me. But I'm going to take the depth down a little bit like so. Alright, so let's see the before and after. Let's see the before and the after. The before and the after. If you feel it's too much, you can reduce the opacity inside of Photoshop. I'm going to click on Apply. Once I click on Apply, I'm just going to reduce the opacity inside of Photoshop because I feel it's too much. Alright, reduce it even more. So, I'm going to rename this player Makeup. Alright, so what I'm going to do from here, I'm just going to group everything I've done so far. Remember, it's still saving as an action. Everything I've been doing so far is being recorded as an action. Alright, so I'm going to click on this first layer. Scroll all the way down, come to this hill, hold shift and select all of them. Press or command G or control G to group. Once I group it, I'm going to rename this layer AI retouch. Alright, and once I feel I'm done, I'm just going to hit stop right here. But if you can't find your action, come to Windows again, click on action and just click on this stop right here. Once you click on stop, it's just going to stop the action for you. So we successfully created the action. All right, so for me, what we're going to do, we're going to click on this hamburger icon again and click on this button mode. Once we click on this button mode, you can see the action right here, AI one click retouch. So I'm going to delete this one and just play this AI one click retouch action. And just going to do everything we've done so far. We just walk in and game is going to look really, really good. All right, so let's just wait for it to finish loading. And just a quick tip, if you are creating this action, be careful so you don't make any mistake. Because if you make any mistake, or maybe you delete any layer, it might affect it. I'm not saying it's going to affect it, but it might affect it. So just be careful. You don't have to rush it when doing it. So take it one step at a time. You can see when I'm doing my, I did not delete any layer. 
I just took it one step at a time. Also, if you want to get touch on me, if you use the link in the description below of this video, you are going to get 25% off any purchase you make right now. I don't know when this offer is going to last, but right now, the offer is 25%. Maybe later, it might be 20%. But if you buy it right now, it's 25%. So check the link in the description below of this video. All right, it has finished loading. Wow. So, see the before and after, our before and after. And the good thing about this plugin is you have total control over it. So maybe you feel the makeup is looking too much. You can just reduce the opacity of the makeup. Maybe it's the contour edge and burn. You can reduce the contour edge and burn if you feel it's too much. Maybe it's the reblum. You can reduce the reblum opacity if you feel it's too much. Imagine if I can spend 90 seconds doing this. Why would I spend up to three hours retouching the same image? And the good thing about this plugin is it's a Photoshop plugin. Even if maybe you feel the AI is not perfect or it makes any mistake, you can actually correct it manually inside of Photoshop because it's a Photoshop plugin. That's the best part about these plugins right here. I also like to know what you think. And if you want to watch a deep dive video on how to use the Retouch Me plugin, everything about the Retouch Me plugin, you can check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.